Hello all. In this video, we will look at how to install Visual Studio, the Windows SDK and the DDK inside a Windows 8.1 64-bit edition. This will serve as our lab machine. Now I have already installed a Windows 8.1 Enterprise eval inside my VMware workstation instance. Right, so this is probably the most basic step which you can do by yourself. Now after you've installed your 8.1 edition, uh, you can basically go to visual, visualstudio.com and then to the download section. And in the download section, you can scroll down and download the 90 day eval for the Visual Studio Professional Edition with update 4. So I prefer always to download the web-based install. So let me click on that. You should have created an account with Microsoft or else it will prompt you to do it. So let's go ahead, click on this. And let's run this. Minimize this in the background. So let's go ahead and click I agree. Uh, you may join the Visual Studio Experience Improvement Program or not. Let's click next. You have a bunch of options in here. Some of these you do not really need, especially for our purposes, such as the Microsoft Office Developer Tools, uh, Blend, you know, Visual Studio SQL tools, the web developer tools, and things like that, right? The Silverlight Development Toolkit, again, something you probably do not require. So we could uncheck a couple of these. Web Application Development Tools, SQL, Office, right? Blend Light Switch, let's keep them. A lot of times people like to use it. So let's go ahead and hit Install. And this is going to begin our installation. Let's go ahead and pause our video here and come back once the install um, has gone through. Okay. So it looks like the installation has completed. Let's go ahead and click launch just to verify it's installed properly. Let's choose the dark theme. It's more comfortable to work with that if you have to work for long periods of time. Visual Studio definitely is one of the more sophisticated uh, of the tools which you know I've kind of seen out there as far as development IDs are concerned, right? I think they've spent a lot of time on this and uh, when you use it, if you haven't used it ever, you will actually see the value of it. Let me pause so that this starts up. Okay. So it looks like it has launched. Uh, still seems to be other small things happening in the background. But here we go. If we click on new project, you should see the list of languages in here. Visual C++ is pretty much what we are going to use most of the time. And fantastic. Looks like the installation has succeeded. Right? Seems to be other things downloading here. In the meantime, let's go back to the browser window and 
crypto.google.com. And let's try and download the Windows DDK, right? Here we are. So Windows 8.1 is really what we need. And you can click on this one in here. Let's click continue. Let's download both of these. Save them. Let's go to view downloads where we click on WDK setup. I'm probably just going to wait for this to finish right so I'm going to pause the video again just so that it doesn't interfere seems like Visual Studio is doing something in here with the Windows 8.1 emulators so let me just pause the video once this finishes I'll go back to the DDK install okay so now that we've downloaded this and the installation is complete. Let's run the WDK setup. And let's install the device driver kit. This should be as easy as next, next. Accept the terms. And there you go. Right? So once again, I'm just going to pause the video. Uh, so that the device driver kit can finish installing and then let's see what else we need to do Okay, so looks like the device driver kit has been installed now After this you can basically run the WDK test setup, right? So let's go ahead and hit next There we go. So while this is installing, let's just go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so now this is installed as well. Perfect. And now if you have a look, if you do a quick search for WinDBG, you should see both the 64 and the x86 one. Click on this, and there you go. Right now, there could be some smaller other toolkits which you might probably need, depending on how much of you know debugging or development you're planning to do. Uh, one of the other things which you could have downloaded and installed before the DDK could be the Windows 8.1 SDK, right? The DDK contains WinDBG, so we aren't too worried. Uh, but you could install the SDK as well if you desired, right? And as and when you require any of the instrumentation, uh, which would be part of many of uh, the SDKs, you can go ahead and install that dynamically as well. But as far as we are concerned, we are good to go. If you've installed WinDBG, uh, the 64-bit one and the 32-bit one, I think we are good to go for all the labs, right? So that's all for this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.